Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about why the Fox News settlement actually matters. Um, there are a lot of people expressing different opinions about it. And I, I think some context might really help here in, in understanding that this isn't a little thing and that we probably can expect some changes. Um, particularly with what I imagine is still to come. Just at random, here's one of the, the questions. I don't understand how this helps repair the damage. Sure, Dominion now has a lot of money, but how does that help? Upton Sinclair once said, It is difficult to get a man to understand something if his salary depends on him not understanding it. It's a true statement. The opposite of that's true, too. It is really easy to get somebody to understand something if their paycheck depends on them understanding it. Cash is a motivator. Cash is a motivator. Don't believe me? Look at the messages. Look at those conversations. Why did Fox push the narratives that they did? Why did they bring on some of the people that they did? Look at the conversations about the pillow guy in particular, if you want it crystal clear. Money. Money. Now, they have to contend with the fact that, well, it didn't work out. Because that $787 million has to be subtracted from any, any revenue they made by pushing what the audience wanted to hear. An interesting development came from Bill O'Reilly, um, who, if you don't know, was a Fox News host for a really, really long time. And he said that the nightmare is just beginning. He said that the nightmare for Fox, it is just beginning. And basically indicated that he thinks that their pursuit of profit and telling the audience what they want to hear rather than at least somewhat reporting the news is going to continue to cause problems. Because of what they did, there's going to be more fallout. Um, and the fact that this is Bill O'Reilly saying this, it, it kind of goes to show something. Conventional wisdom says that Bill O'Reilly was forced out of Fox because of some settlements, because of some misconduct claims and the settlements that came from them. Do you know what they totaled? I don't know offhand. I want to say it's $13 million, um, that Fox had to pay, I think, in that range. Um, that's nothing in comparison to $787 million. There are a lot of people that are treating this as if this isn't a lot of money. Even for somebody like the Murdochs, $787 million is $787 million. Um, nobody at Fox is going to look at this as a cost of doing business. It's way too much. They have an audience. They would still make money if they were putting on more accurate um, information. So this isn't an all or nothing thing where their options are have their outlet and pay $787 million every once in a while or make no money. They can make money and not pay $787 million. Um, and I think that now that the cash is at play, I think it might be easier for them to understand what, why it's important to do that. I mean, Bill O'Reilly recognized it. And, you know, definitely not somebody that can be classified as liberal or a leftist 
But even he was like, you know, when I said that uh, Trump was going to lose in federal court, I lost a thousand premium subscribers or something along those lines. And he's like, so be it. Um, if Bill O'Reilly gets it, I, I would imagine that Fox News executives are going to get it too. And remember, this isn't over. They're going to be paying out more and more money as time goes on. And this is all from one set of information that was put out. If they continue doing it, there will be continual lawsuits. It's not a one-time thing. Um, I do not expect Fox to become a bastion of journalistic integrity. I do expect them to pursue profit. And the profit isn't in lying. It's not in putting out bad information. Not if you're going to have to pay out $787 million here, $500 million here, so on and so forth. It's too much to be just written off as a cost of doing business. So while I know people, and myself included, would have much rather seen a trial and all of that information come out and all of that information get coverage, the, the monetary penalties... I would imagine that they would shift editorial decisions at Fox more than they're going to want to admit. My guess is they start to walk stuff back slowly um, to limit their future liability. Not because they care. Not because they want to, you know, actually have some kind of ethics about this when it comes to the practice of journalism or anything like that but simply because it's more profitable to do so. You can always count on people like Fox News, entities like Fox News, to pursue the money. They're after the cash. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.